What's going on guys, my name is Ben and welcome back to another video. As you can see behind me, I am out today in the all new BMW Z4 M40i. I thought I'd just do a little short video for you guys to show you the exterior and the interior in another video, the differences between the two cars. They are quite drastic, the 2019 is obviously a massive leap forward in the form of the cabin and the technology inside compared to my E89. But how different are they? Let's find out. So the cars are side by side and as you can see there is a very dramatic change from my 2011 E89 to the 2019 Z4. As you can see it is a complete change. The front end on this slopes down a lot more whereas this is a lot higher. We've got a complete new um, headlight design which I think looks very F-type-ish with the new honeycomb kidney grills. We've got also a fair few intakes and things down the bottom. Let's start with my car though. So my car is generally quite long, the bonnet is incredibly long which is definitely shorter on the new one. Uh, indicator on the side with the BMW and the the 35 IS badges, which that one doesn't have. It only has one M40i badge on the back. Uh, if you're wondering, by the way, my car is all stickered up ready for my Euro trip, which is taking place next week, which I cannot wait for. And uh, the back end on this car, uh, I think they're about the same. They both kind of integrate that kind of lip ducktail-ish spoiler into the rear boot lid. But this is, of course, a metal folding hardtop whereas that has gone back to a soft uh, a fabric soft top like the E85 did so that one does have more boot space which I'll show you now if I open the boot on mine you see this issue once the roof is down um, you only have this gap to get things in and out of so if you have things right at the back of the boot you are pretty much screwed you have to pull over put the roof up and uh, do that whereas in the new one uh, I have all my filming equipment in quite nicely and with the roof down it doesn't eat up into the space because it just folds up here. I have uh, my camera and my massive drone uh, case and bags and things like that and it fits very very snugly in there. Uh, the tail light design is completely different compared to mine. That looks a lot softer whereas this looks more aggressive and uh, I think that's quite 8 series, eight series like. Again both cars same size wheels these are both 19 inches they're quite similar uh, actually and then just a single m40i badge on the back like i mentioned i like this kind of uh brushed finish on the z4 badge and then of course it's maintained the kind of ducktail integrated spoiler these roll hoops are a lot smaller than mine if you can see them yep these are tiny and I like the little details of the Z4 badge there. The mirrors are drastically bigger and they also include the uh, the indicator in there rather than having a single badge down there. I'm a big fan of these kind of gills on the side and they are actually functional. There are holes in there so they look very very nice and of course the wheels with the massive M Sport brake calipers finished in blue there. Pretty standard BMW really. Uh, they would however look nice on mine. Mine are quite big and they have been painted blue but I do prefer the other ones. As you can see and the indicator is there not in the air. Uh, the mirror there. I love the look of my car. I think I actually prefer the shape of the E89 to this one. However, this one does look very good. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Personally, I prefer that. However, the technology in, in this and the handling is just, it's quite a bit better. I wouldn't say it's far, far better, but that is a very, very good animal. That is it from me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this very simple and quick video walking around the two cars and showing out the main differences. It's quite nice to see the cars together. Uh, it's quite rare really that you see the new Z4 next to the E89. So it just looks fantastic. Um, still personally, I do prefer mine. Uh, but let me know what you guys think down below. Do you like the look of the new Z4? I know a lot of people said it's Fiat 124-ish, which I personally, can kind of see but I personally think it looks more like an F-Type than it does a fear. But that is it for me guys, make sure you hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button for plenty of upcoming content. Cheers!